dun, 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 dun. Uh, we're going to do a little video about how to solve problems like that, multiplying mixed numbers. So stay tuned. Be excited. I would imagine you should probably get a pen and paper right now. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to convert both numbers to improper fractions when you multiply mixed numbers. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to simplify before you multiply. If you ever see Miss Johnson, she will love to sing you a song about simplifying before you multiply. So make sure you ask her when you see her. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the two improper fractions. And finally, you'll convert your final answer to a mixed number and reduce the simplest form. You can do that in either order. For this video, this screen, you could always rewind and come back to just so you know, this is the four steps that you'll be solving every problem where you multiply mixed numbers. And I will go through that with our first problem right now, how we do each of these four steps. Okay, this problem is four and a half times six and two fifths. Now the first thing we're going to do, we are going to, we are going to take this and convert them both into improper fractions. All right, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to convert those. Four and one half, um, that's the easy one. We're going to do four times two, that's going to be nine halves. Six and two fifths is going to convert to six times five is going to be 30 plus two, so that's going to be 32 fifths. All right, so, so far, we've done a good job of uh, conver converting our mixed numbers. The next thing we need to do is simplify before we multiply. Uh, and that basically is going to make us 9 and 5 can't be simplified. But we know if we divide 32 and 2 by 2, this will become a 1, and 32 becomes a 16. Now we are ready to multiply now. I did our uh, multiplication. 9 times 16 is 144. 1 times 5 is 5. So now all we have to do next is to do our final step, which is going to be, sim we can't simplify this, but so what we'll do is we will convert uh, this back into a mixed number. And I know this is going to be, uh, 5 is going to go into, uh, this number, let's see, 5 goes into 14, 2 times, so it's going to be 28 and 4 fifths. Again, here's our order, right? What we did was we converted both numbers to improper fractions. Then we simplified before we multiplied by dividing six, uh, 32 and 2 by 2. Uh, then we multiply the two improper fractions and we converted our final answers to a mixed number and reduce the simplest form. It was already in simplest form. We didn't have to reduce anymore. Okay, these are your steps. I encourage you to keep coming back to these steps to see exactly what you need to do each time. All right, so let's do another one. Okay, for this, I'd like you to pause the video and do step one and then continue after you've done step one. Step one is to convert both numbers to improper fractions. Pause the video, do that, and resume. Okay, uh, you see I did the first one right there. It was one and two thirds equals five thirds. Um, and then we'll do the next part. It is going to be 18 fifths. Hopefully you got that same thing. Um, if you did, good job. If not, make sure you have your, the right answer there now. The next step I want you to do is, I'd like you to do step two, which is to simplify before you multiply. Go ahead and simplify this before you multiply right now. Please pause the video. Okay, great. So clearly this is probably the easiest thing. You could simplify the fives, divide both by one, by five, and you would get one one for each of those uh, but you could also simplify the other thing and you divide each of those by three you would get uh, you would get oh I'm sorry you would get a one down here 
and then you would get six up there. The, the next step, uh, step three, I'm just right here, is multiply Uh, and, you know, this is going to be, the first is going to be convert, the fourth is going to be convert. We could do that real fast right here um, because it, we've simplified it. So really all we have to do is say 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1, and this is going to equal 6. So 1 and 2 thirds times 3 and 3 fifths is 6. Okay, good work. I'm going to give you another problem, uh, and I'd like you to try to do that all on your own when you pause the video and then you can continue and see if you got the right answer. Uh, go ahead and try and solve this one on your own. Uh, remember, as you do this, here are your steps. So don't forget, go in exactly that same order and I think you'll find some confidence as you solve this problem. Pause the video and see if you got the same work I did. And after you've gotten that far, you do need to simplify before you multiply. You can divide the 21 and the 3 by 3. And then you'll see that you get 56 fifths if when you multiply it. The final step, you'll just need to is convert that and then make sure it is in simplest form. Okay. Okay, so that is your final answer of 11 and 1 fifth. You should be fine with this as long as you made your multiplication, um, you did your multiplication correctly. Um, I think you're really good at solving uh, these steps. Let me get rid of all this mumbo jumbo. You should be fine. As long as you can follow these steps, you'll get everything correct as long as you do your multiplication correctly and you remember to simplify. Okay, I hope you'll reach out to us uh, if you have any questions about uh, multiplying mixed numbers. Other than that, uh, good luck at solving these problems. Say bye, Taya. Bye-bye.